hello and welcome to my cup of tea screencast about C++ and safe row pointers. Uh, maybe you've heard the, the keynote from CppCon 2015, but uh, uh, there is some work in progress on the making C++ uh, row pointers safer. And we'll talk about uh, the GSL library and owner of T and um, I'll show you that there was some progress on the CVV core check tool. That's the static analysis tool from Microsoft uh, that is supposed to implement uh, the, the static checks for the pointers. Um, so the safe row pointers uh, deal, this uh, started with the CPPCon uh, 15, 2015 talk by Herb Satter. It was a keynote. Uh, writing good C++ 14 by default. I recommend you watching watching this uh, keynote if you haven't yet. But uh, <clears throat> really, it introduced this uh, set of tools. It introduced this paper and the formal model and, this, and the static analysis tool that will be part of Visual Studio uh, that can uh, make uh, raw pointers safe uh, in addition to checking other uh, checking out other, other rules, uh, it can make, uh, it can guarantee that uh, you will not have dangling pointers and that you will not have memory leaks in your C++ program even when you are using raw pointers, that is non-smart pointers. Um, why, uh, why is this uh, important for C++? I think, well, uh, there are some obvious reasons that uh, this would make uh, C++ a much safer language that uh, a lot of crashes and memory leaks uh, currently can be prevented uh, in compile time. It can also make C++ faster because if people will feel that uh, raw pointers are safer, they will use them more often. And instead of uh, smart pointers, in some cases, they can be used safely and this will uh, improve performance because raw pointers are you know ide ideal for the high performance code they fit into the registers the compilers can uh, really write some optimized code if you're using pointers directly and um, i think some maybe some other reasons for c plus doing this uh, work is the competition from other languages as well because uh, the, in the papers, so for example, they point out uh, related work by um, C Sharp team. The, if you if you're reading Joe Duffy's blog, uh, he's blogging about this Midori and C Sharp for systems programming. And uh, one of the blog posts he has this diagram. And of course, you know there is a disclaimer that um, there is many more dimensions to compare uh, programming languages. There is not just performance and. This is really um, very all very arguable, but uh, appro approximately you can say that there are some languages currently that are more uh, they're more uh, t aiming towards safety and productivity, and there's languages that are traditionally uh, prefer prefer uh, performance over uh, safety of the code. And there, there were some changes. So, for example, in this post, this is a long post about how C Sharp uh, was uh, changed to create a more, a more, a faster language for system programming. So this is basically about you know C Sharp moving towards this, uh, this red uh, goal here. But also, if um, you know C plus was re recently moving towards the more safer part here. And with GSL and with the new uh, lifetime pointer rules and static checks, you can say that C++ is also aiming here for this uh, safety and productivity part. Uh, there are also, you know, where other languages like Rust and Go, some of them with garbage collector, some without garbage collector, but they are all kind of competing uh, for this, uh, this spot now. So this is really important that uh, C++ is is working on this because this is a fundamental change for the language. Um, it was traditionally associated associated with you know, non-safe pointers and kind of uh, problematic 
um, correctness with regards to memory operations and you know you need to do this painful code reviews and to to make sure your uh, allocations are correct um, so what's what's been part of this keynote talk by uh, herb Satter? they've uh, published uh, two papers uh, they are on iso cpp github in the docs uh, there is introduction to type and resource safety a pdf and there is a lifetimes pdf uh, they are you know just published as pdf so i guess not accepting uh pull requests still but uh, um i really recommend uh reading this introduction pdf because this it is really written uh, more for um just just uh reading without much you know formalism uh, the other doc is more formal so just for brevity i recommend you know reading the whole doc but uh, for brevity there's a few um, parts that i can highlight so the basic idea is that uh, they are proposing this new type which is uh, called just owner and uh, this owner type is really just a transparent um, just a transparent wrapper so owner of x it is just x so you can write owner of t star and it will be just t star there's no uh, abi uh, compatibility problem um, this is not a real type but uh, it's only used for static analysis and the idea is that you can have uh, multiple pointers to anything but only one pointer at uh, each moment in time will be uh, the owner and then the static analysis tool can make sure that uh, this is this invariant holds true you will get an owner pointer from you uh, you can pass you can give that you can move the ownership and then at the end you must uh, somehow de delete or you know free that uh, owner uh, then there is a, a set of uh, very simple rules that uh, every owner pointer in your code should will be marked as owner of t star new returns an owner um, uh, the, the static analysis will make sure that and every owner is deleted or transferred to another owner and there is never an assignment from a non-owner to to owner so basically the good old uh, t star becomes uh, non it, it will have only one meaning a non-owning pointer to t uh, so the, the difference is that currently in the in the current code t star can mean both like you can sometimes it depends on the convention of a particular api right you can sometimes get an owner t star from some function or you can give uh, ownership to some to some function but that's that's just part of the documentation not the, the signature but with this uh, new template this becomes part of the signature uh, and then you know you would just have function which let's say gets an owner and a non-owning pointer and the static analysis tool can catch some uh, violation like if you're deleting a non-owning pointer or if you don't delete or don't transfer the ownership uh, therefore you it prevents you know something like a memory leak here and uh, dangling pointers in the other parts of the code um, so other parts here is um, this interesting paragraph here that uh, actually uh, owners owner annotations are supposed to be rare so normally the language will be designed in such a way that uh, most of the owner annotations will be hidden inside the libraries you actually they will they will the authors expect that you will not need to annotate many pointers with this you will you know normally think a thousand plain pointers or non-owning pointers for each owning pointer so normally they expect that very rarely you will actually see uh, owner annotation in your code which is interesting and one of the reasons is that um, actually they still recommend that uh, for the real ownership you would use um, something like a uh, container or a unique a unique pointer or shared pointer and the reason for this is um, 
the exceptions ex exceptions and uh, our AI uh, approach because um, owner of uh, T star is still is still just a naked pointer and so if you just create uh, and keep uh, an owner of T star without the destructor handling the on the delete you can still leak you can it can be still leaked because if you just have like a new int it can still leak because there's something that might throw so the the recommendation in this case would be to just use you know make unique and then inside make unique the the implementers will actually use the owner annotation so the static analysis tool will know that okay the owner is still here uh, and then it can it can run the checks when you just give someone let's say you will give someone a non-owning reference or non-owning pointer to this uh, to the object inside this unique pointer then the static analysis can that just check that uh, everything is correct in that code so this is like a 19 page document here uh, by Bjarne, Herb, and Gabriel Dos Reis um, on ESO CVP. And then the other document here is a more formal lifetime safety description. Uh, this really, this just goes really into details about this model and how it's implemented. There's some kind of uh, sets for each pointer, for each variable. Uh, what uh, you know states it can be in and this kind of a state machine that can uh, that that it works through several or like many examples and uh, proves that uh, they, they, they can be handled the maybe the interesting the one thing to highlight here is this um, just in the beginning where uh, they talk about you know interesting uh, things like the that there might be actually still uh, false positives that this is acceptable but uh, this should be kept under 10 percent on average for a large uh, for a large body of code and uh, there will be there will be a way to annotate uh, exceptions so like when you really know and you need to that you need to violate some of the um, false positives you will be able to do that with some special annotations uh, but they expect that those cases will be very ra rare and uh, very just some very tricky cases and maybe uh, those can be hidden inside um, some library code so that they show you this examples here page 41 let's say how your know, lifetime annotation might look like or you know suppressing lifetime um, checks uh, will look like so this is the new attribute uh, syntax um, and this is part of so the other part of this that they've introduced in the keynote uh, this is the guideline support library uh, the it is the 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 other part of the core guidelines so the core guidelines is this big document describing the kind of the safe set of C++ and the, the guideline support library is supposed to be um, this kind of helper library to uh, which introduces the types uh, described in the guidelines and it's interesting that they've uh, said during the keynote that they will they're not uh, currently even proposing it for standardization the idea is that they really wanted to make it uh, publish it faster make it available earlier and they are like working around uh, uh, standardization they've published it on github so it's not it's not standard but uh, it is available uh, and it's the the guidelines are being edited by uh, herb and uh, bjarn strauss group where they review the guidelines and the guideline support library is where you will find for example the definitions for this owner uh, owner of t owner of t and other types for like span array view uh, span and array view which are defined in the guideline in the core guidelines 
Um, so in the keynote, they said that they will probably you know publish this um, tool and this lifetime. They've they've uh, had a demo of this uh, static analysis actually working for some of the cases where they would use a vector and you know create a pointer to uh, an element in this vector and then after pushback this pointer is invalidated according to the standard so the tool would actually catch this and um, recently in december a few months ago they've uh, published a blog post where they've announced um, that the CPP, the, the core guidelines checkers are available for Visual Studio 2015 update one. Um, but there's you know good news and bad news. So the good news is that they, they uh, did publish the tool and the checkers are available. But uh, the bad news is that there is no checkers for the pointer lifetimes. So this one, this this one is not yet available. They promise it will be available you know later, but not in this release. Um, another bad news is that I actually wasn't uh, I, I wasn't able to 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 use this uh, checker library. So I followed the, all the instructions there. So you would do what you would do is you would go to uh, NuGet packages there. You would search for static analysis, uh, and you will find this Microsoft CPP core check. You can install it for your C++ project, um, and I installed it here. So this just adds you know this packages config XML, and uh, then they say you know in properties code analysis you just need to enable code analysis, and then when you do the you know, you run the code analysis and finds and highlights this errors, but it doesn't work for me. I am using Though I'm using Visual Studio 2015 update 2, but it's a release candidate, so maybe there's something disabled or maybe something doesn't work. They have only said, you know, they've checked it only with uh, 2015 update 1, so maybe there's uh, some problem. But um, anyway, there is no check for the pointer lifetime yet. Uh, the the checks that they have currently is something like you're using uh, you have an uninitialized uh, variable uh, variable and you're using you know you're, you're using a pointer to uh, decade decayed array and um, don't use pointer arithmetic so that's that's their example I tried the same code and I tried the vector code but um, unfortunately there is no there's no warnings here, but um, let's hope that this will eventually work. And um, I hope you enjoyed this cup of tea. See you next time.